All right, so for this video, we're going to talk about estimating the derivative at a point. So all we've really been talking about so far in class is how to find the exact value of the derivative at a point. But there's going to be some situations where it may be more convenient just to estimate the value of the derivative uh, at a point. So to get us started, let's take a look at this example. Um, we want to estimate f prime of 1 if f of x equals x to the x to the x power. Now I know that's a weird function, but it works really good for my example here. Now why would we necessarily want to estimate the value of the derivative rather than find the exact value of the derivative? Well, for one thing, we may forget how to find f prime of x. Or for some certain types of functions, we may not have never really learned how to find the derivative. Uh, also, f prime of x may be too complicated to calculate. And when I say too complicated, doesn't necessarily mean that you don't know how to find the derivative, but perhaps finding the derivative will take a little bit, you know, too much time, and it just might not be convenient to actually calculate out the whole derivative, which I think is the case with this one, because we do know how to take the derivative of this. Um, you would have to use logarithmic differentiation, and uh, you'd also have to use logarithmic differentiation again inside of that process. So um, if you're interested in knowing exactly what the derivative of this is, you can ask me and I'll be more than happy to uh, show it to you. Um, another reason we may want to estimate the derivative is that we just may not necessarily need 100% accuracy. Um, yeah, an estimation might be good enough. So how do we estimate the value of a derivative of a function at a point. Well, let's take a look at this picture again here. This is something that should look familiar because it was in my video uh, talking about finding the slope of a curve at a point. Um, let's look at this point of the graph right here, x equals a. Uh, as we know, the, um, the value of the derivative at that point is going to be the slope of the tangent line at that point. And so I drew the tangent line here, and I said, of course, that slope is equal to f prime of a, which is the derivative uh, at a. And uh, then I went h units beyond a, and I drew the secant line. Remember that whenever you draw a line through two points on the graph, it's called the secant line. And uh, the slope of that secant line, of course, is going to be f of a plus h minus f of a, divided by a plus h minus a, which will just be h. So what we said was um, that as h goes to zero, this secant line is going to slide down the graph and approach the tangent line. Well, if the value of h is very, very small, then that secant line is going to be very close to the actual tangent line, hence their slopes are going to be uh, approximately equal. So what I say here is, if h is very small, then the slope of that secant line, which is f of a plus h minus f of a, all divided by h, that's going to be very close to the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative at a. So to estimate the derivative, all we really basically do is we take a point that's just a little bit beyond the point where you're trying to find the slope and find the slope of that secant line. Uh, the slope of the secant line is also sometimes common, commonly referred to as the average rate of change from x equals a to x equals a plus h. As a matter of fact, that's what we call it in pre-calculus. So, let's actually do that process on the example that we started with. So, we wanted to estimate f prime of 1 if f of x is equal to x to the x to the x power. So, what I did here is I took a point that's just a little bit beyond 1. In this case, I took 1.0001. And I basically found the slope of the secant line, or the average rate of change, from x equals 1 to x equals 1.0001. So, I take the change in the output, which is the f of 1.0001 minus f of 1, and then we divide that by the change in the input, 
1.001 minus 1 and then I'm going to assume that you can do the calculations here you know plug in your plug in your input values and evaluate your function and after doing all that work we get that f prime of 1 is approximately equal to 1.0001 so I'm guessing that the value the exact value of f prime of 1 is probably exactly 1 okay so to convince you that this process works that you can estimate the value of the derivative in this way uh, let's look at an example where the derivative is much easier to calculate Let's estimate f prime of 3 if f of x is equal to the natural log of x squared plus 4. So, the value of the derivative at 3, f prime of 3, is going to be approximately equal to, so what I did here is I took a point that's just a little bit beyond 3. In this case, I picked 3.001. And I calculate the slope of the secant line that passes through 3 and 3.001 also called the average rate of change so I take the change in the output values or the change in the y values which is f of 3.001 minus f of 3 and I divide that by the change in the input values which is 3.001 minus 3 and once again I'll let you do the calculations there but when you do these calculations, we get approximately 0.46151. Now, that's an estimation of the derivative at 3. Just an estimation. So, if we want to find the exact value of the derivative, well, this is a function that we know how to differentiate. It's, it's a very easy function to, function to differentiate. Uh, to take the derivative of a natural log, we just take the derivative of the argument divided by the argument itself. So f prime of x is actually very easy to calculate here. It's going to be 2x over x squared plus 4. So if I want to calculate the exact value of the derivative, I just simply evaluate f prime of 3, which is going to be 6 thirteenths, which is, on a calculator, I think I went out to like five decimal places, 46154. So you have to go out to like the uh, the fifth decimal place here to actually see a difference between the estimation and the uh, the exact value. So they're 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 pretty close. Okay. So as an exercise for you to try, um, it's not going to be a graded problem or anything, but I do want you to try it, and we'll go over it in class. Is um, estimate f prime of four if f of x is equal to inverse tangent x and compare it to the exact value of f prime of 4. Now, f, uh, the inverse tangent x has a nice, easy-to-calculate derivative, so you should be able to easily calculate the exact value and uh, compare it with your estimated value. So that's all for now, and um, we'll talk more about this tomorrow, and I'll have another video for you tomorrow as well. So we'll see you then.